Channel 4, your number one source for news, working for you. With Dan Miller and Demetria Calademos News, Rudy Kayla Sports, and Bill Hall's Weather. And still ahead here this evening, they are the adoptive parents of seven children, three boys and four girls, all from different countries. Children who might not be alive today if not for the supreme sacrifices made by their parents. Hear how they fill their hearts and homes with love when we come back. Tonight, you're going to meet a Nashville couple who understand supreme sacrifices, and they understand it sevenfold. They couldn't have children of their own, so they decided to adopt. And then things got a little out of hand. But as every parent knows, sacrifices just go with the job. Our Francine Cuccinello has the story. Come on. Okay. Let's see you jump up and down. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, you guys ready? We better go. We got to go to the party. Are you taking him? Uh, I can. If you want me to. Uh, no, but you can get some there, buddy. Oh, Do you want your own skates? Okay. Well, uh, the let's... black one. Can I use okay, let's go to the party. Much of the time, life is a happy blur for Ken Barker, the father of three boys and four girls, all adopted from four different countries. It never stops. If it's not me, it's Brenda. We just sort of tag team with all these kiddos. This is where all the happening parties are. Okay, you ready for the party? Ready to sing happy birthday? Oh, wait a minute, we don't have the present. Wait, wait here, wait here, wait. I'll go get the present. Hi, we're here for a party. Yeah, every day is a new adventure. At the Barker home, there's always someone who needs something. Be it attention given. Okay, do it. That's good, Mel. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Whoa! Oh, my God. Uh-oh, that time it didn't work. <laughs> Tears dried. Let me see your eyes. Just let her, just let her plunk a little That's bit, mine. okay? Quarrels ended. The father of seven children never entered my mind. Stepping Now let's step up. Stepping up. That's right. Good, Melody. Ken Barker always knew he'd be a dad someday. The mom and Brenda never thought about being a mom until children started needing her. A lot of people see us and it looks sort of like a zoo. And it is, sort of. <laughs> Get to it. Alone and in pairs, the children came from India, China, Latvia, Vietnam. Some orphaned, some voluntarily forfeited so they could escape a life of abject poverty. The youngest, Danny, is two. There's that cute Danny. The eldest, twin girls, Faith and Grace, are 12. And we adopted them all as infants. And there was enough time between that we thought, well, maybe we can handle another one. <laughs> but just when the challenges seemed great enough, another test surfaced. Doctors discovered Sam has leukemia. When he was diagnosed about two and a half years ago, I mean, we didn't know that he wasn't going to die. He's seven now, and we've got about a year left of chemotherapy. Um, he's had some, some complications, and we've had some scary moments. <laughs> Okay, Mel, go take it to the table. Thank you again for the food and help it to snow. In Jesus' name, amen. The entire Barker clan tries to eat dinner together every night. With so many people going in so many directions, Brenda and Ken believe the children need the balance that comes from quality time together and with mom and dad. But it's always a challenge particularly like when Sam's in the hospital and it's somebody's birthday. And so, um, you know, you have to decide where can you be and, and who can you ha have to come help. And we try to give them all special treatment and special love in different ways.
I think parenting is an ultimate call in your life. There may be other things that the Lord's called us to. This certainly is a season of being a parent, though. And I love it. I want to do it. Francine Cuccinello, Channel 4 News.